So good day everyone, I am King Harun M. Sultan and in this video I will be showing you a program that can be used to design a beam using WSD method. So this program is specifically used uh, the general solution also called as the transformed section method. Uh, CircleLock introduced different methods and and I decided to use a general solution as it can solve other other shapes of the beam unlike other unlike other methods and this also this method also is uh, way easier than uh, than others because we do not need to solve for different cons different constants like k and j so in order to emphasize the effectivity of this program let us have an example let us have an example so Hmm. So here, a reinforced concrete rectangular beam 280mm in width has an effective depth of 520mm. It is reinforced only at the bottom with 528mm diameter bars. The reinforcing steel strength Fs is equal to 140mPa and the compressive strength of concrete is 28mPa. And the modular ratio is 9. Determine the ratio of, uh, determine the moment capacity of the beam. So we just input the given values and beam with a base is 280 mm, effective depth of 520, this, oh, and still covering which is not included in this problem, bar diameter, so this bar diameter here uh, only accept values which are, that are here because these are the common diameter of the bar that are used in commercial buildings so if we input values that are not in the range so it will prompt an error like this okay so in this problem we are given uh, we are given 28 mm 28 so the number of bars are 5 and the concrete strength which is 228 MPA, the steel strength, which is 140 MPA. So, now we can get the C uh, by using this formula. So, NAS, we can get this by NAS times 500 20 which is the effective depth so we uh, using quadratic equation we are provided the value of 236.77 millimeter so solving for the moment of inertia at the neutral axis using the formula b is equal to uh, time multiplied by c cube over 3 plus nes d minus c squared so we know from the previous discussions that this is the formula used in getting the moment of inertia in the neutral axis by this shape because not that katongkoan bh cube over 12 kekat and dito ginagamit sa center but in here in the neutral axis which is here mauna siya neutral axis so we are have the value of this 3,461,626,973 mm raised to the power of 4. So solving for the moment capacity, note that Fc is equal to 0 0.45 Fc prime, we can get the value of 184.215 kN meter and for steel Fs over N as the type of direct NAS, so we need to divide uh, modular ratio so kailangan siya i-divide the ring uh, sa stress diagram so fs over n is equal to mc i and a we have the value moment capacity of steel which is 190.119 kN meter so the answer here it chooses the uh, minimum one as uh, this concludes that concrete fails first so,
so now we I will be showing you a program uh, that can solve uh, can design and being using the ultimate strength design so this is divided into four parts the parameters or the given the calculation of the beam the design and the analysis of the beam if is it if it is tension controlled safe or doubly or are or and remarks if the the number of bars can withstand the uh, loads applied so this <coughs> so these are the given so can I, can I, this can this is from this value is kwan kanang makuha ni siya gamit ang formula sa design so these are the raw max and the raw mean so makita na to nga ang steel ratio is in between the japon siya sa sa kaninga range so if okay so ang beam is divided into three spans which is the left span mid span and right span which is a negative moment positive and negative because sa theory we discuss nga ani ayan ang um, moment sa beam is ani so this is negative moment positive and negative so mount na siya dere and then a remark singly or a singly or doubly so kaninga program is kuan uh, mag base siya ani dere ay kanang mag base siya ani then ma, ma change ni if singly or doubly so ilisa na to ning beam mo with let's say 300 so ayun na ma doubly na siya ma lahat na siya so ang um, design pod is dire siya mag calculate sa doubly reinforced beam and same here so naka hyphen ni siya because that indicates nga dili applicable so balik na ko sa 400 so singly reinforced beam so magitan na to nga sa doubly kay uh, blank rapid siya okay. sa beam design so makuha, sa makuha na tong area of steel and the number of steel bars needed to resist the load so kani kay a theoretical ni siya nga mga value kani 7, 5, 4 and this 0 here cannot be 0 in uh, reality because uh, it, it must be at least 2 to attach the stirrups so sa analysis makita na to nga sa analysis makita mag kuan siya kung tension controlled or compression controlled dayon mag indicate po siya if safe so if tension control if compression controlled na siya two types tension controlled or compression controlled if tension controlled so dili maglabas if compression controlled then the these data here will up will appear will appear here and this part here will be left uh, with a high pen. So assuming a uh, compression still yields so doubly reinforced team is so wala dayon so there wala wala dayon can in final moment capacity is a uh, ratio lang ni siya ay demand capacity ratio is ratio ni siya sa kani ultimate moment capacity og ultimate moment capacity and so di uh, kuan kaning kaning moment mu so dapat less dapat less than ni siya sa 1 this must be less than one in order to be concluded safe so if less than if more than one siya so kanikai 
this will indicate not safe so we can see that uh, the demand capacity ratio all of this indicates I is less than one so therefore we can conclude that this design is safe